My name is Frances Hurst and I'm a BTO member, volunteer and trustee and I first got involved with BTO at the time of the Bird Atlas in 2007 so it got me out looking at my local patch in a new way and I really enjoyed it and I was hooked. I've been passionate about birds since I was a child. Um, my grandmother loved the birds, fed the birds in the garden and she introduced me to all the different species, explained that they ate different food and just really got me interested and I used to love going round there to see if I could spot a woodpecker on her feeders and um, it's been a lifelong passion for me. I think BTO is really special because of the personal connection that volunteers have with the cause. What I do as a volunteer, my observations become part of the data, part of the research. So we're absolutely central to the work and I think that's, um, I think that's very motivating. Well, I had a really special experience with BTO one evening. It was after a council meeting and a few of us had a chance to go out with a couple of BTO staff into Thetford Forest where they were monitoring and tagging night jars. And it was just such a wonderful evening as the night drew in, the night jars were flying around our heads and we were watching this woodlark to see, uh, to try and find out where its nest was. And the, the uh, staff member I was with was just sat there for probably 20, 25 minutes until this bird finally trusted the environment enough to go back to the nest. And I just was so blown away by the patience and the commitment um, that, yeah, it really stayed with me, that experience. I've been thinking about leaving a gift in my will to BTO, but it was really last year when I was dealing with my late father's affairs um, that it made me kind of crystallise things. That he'd left um, gifts to a number of causes that he really cared about, and I thought, right, it's time I got myself organised. Leaving a gift in my will to a charity is a bit of a no-brainer for me, um, particularly when it comes to BTO, because birds have been such an amazing part of my life, um, brought me so much joy, that if I can, by leaving a gift, if I can help in some small way ensure that there'll still be birds around for future generations, then that makes me feel very happy. I know it's really important for people leaving a legacy or thinking about leaving a legacy to a charity to really trust that the organisation is going to do the right thing by them and I've been very fortunate being a trustee of BTO that I've seen um, just how committed and thorough the board, the staff, the leadership are in terms of how, the way they run the organisation, the governance of the organisation so I feel so confident that when the time comes for my legacy to be uh, relevant as it were um, that they will use that money in the best possible way so that it makes the biggest difference at that time. I think there'll always be a need for BTO, unfortunately in some ways, because there's so many bird species in trouble. Um, and there'll always be a need for that objective science that the, the BTO brings to try and understand why these changes are happening, why there's the problems. So it's the evidence that BTO gathers and holds for all of us that is the epitome of passing on something wonderful for future generations because it's giving them the possibility of still enjoying, like I have, birds and the wonderful environment that we have. <laughs>